Pat Precourt. Welcome, Timmy. Welcome to Legacy Island, buddy. Pumped to be here. This has been amazing. Dude. You know, there's a lot more now, a lot more here than I was expecting when and, you invited me down. And I think people hear island and they think it's gonna be something small, but like this is at 110 acres of uplands, surrounded by 350 acres of, of marshlands. But, and you're totally unplugged from the mainland. Rich, we own the closest mainland property, so that way we have access to the dock and boating and all that stuff. But you feel completely removed, but you're still very close to the mainland, you know? And you can get into downtown Beaufort in 15 minutes. You can get to Hilton Head in 30 minutes. It's 25, 30 minutes to the airport, the Savannah Hilton Head Airport. So there's so much it's very convenient and at the same time completely removed from civilization and completely self-sustaining, right? Like we're in, a, we're in a position here where we bought this island, already had a house on it, it's got a dock here, it's got septic, it's got well water, it has solar, it's completely self-sufficient where it can be a completely off-grid opportunity. And, and what we're looking to do here is we're gonna build probably two more houses and under those houses, we'll have like bath, uh, additional bathrooms, and we're gonna build these little cottages and cabins where we can sleep and house about 80 to 100 people um, for events. Yeah, Primarily yeah. for events is the, is the game plan, which you know events better than almost anybody that I know. Obviously, we have our own event company and our, uh, our mastermind. But the idea here is gonna be to put um, amazing events. Obviously, there'll be weddings, there'll be corporate retreats. We'll do real estate masterminds. But what I'm really excited about is like the ideas that you and I had about doing mind, body, and and uh, spirit, right? Yeah. Or, or mind, body, and, and mind, body, business, kind business. of bringing it mind, all together. Mind, body, and business. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and bringing it all together, right? Because I think a lot of people come out to these masterminds and it's just business stuff, and that's easy to quantify. It's harder to tell somebody, hey, you need the psychological side because you can't quantify the psychological right. side monetarily, right? And so sometimes it's harder to write a check for that than it is to write a check for a business event. And, uh, and then same thing with body, you know? It's like, oh, well, there's not a direct ROI that people can see. Although, dude, the healthier that you are, the higher you can perform at, right? And you can do more business. And the, the more dialed in your mindset is, the, the easier it is that you're firing on all cylinders with your relationships, with your kids, with your spouse, with your friends, with your family, with um, your business relationships and everything else moves in the right direction. And obviously we'll talk about finance and those kinds of things, but sure. what, what is your vision for like, now that you've seen this, what do you yeah. think, like how can we attack this and how can we create huge value for people to come out? Yeah, so first, first the island, like I, I want everybody to think right now, Jurassic Park, surrounded by water, <laughs> minus the dinosaurs. Seriously. Yeah. But the, the, it neat, feels like the it. neat thing about it, to your point, is it separates you from everything that you know back at home. Yeah. And you're you're detached from the same mind and, and, and emotion. You see what happens, and it's a challenge for every one of us, right? We all have routines and, and you know, we strive for routines because it makes us more efficient, right? It makes it more effective. But the challenge is it means we wake up every day, we plug into our routines, we think the same thoughts, we feel the same feelings, we're around the same people. Yep. So nothing actually expands, right? Now through life, as we get through you know different experiences, we meet different people and uh, things like that. We slowly do expand and, and hope, hopefully are growing forward. Yep. But what we're looking up to do here, Tim, is you bring bring us to an island here, separate us from from all of the known and then create an environment that's completely unknown and expedite the cycle. Start challenging us, our, our mind in, in a way we think, in a way we feel, uh, to do things that we thought we were never capable of yeah. or, or never even thought of, like the not knowing what we don't know kind of stuff. Yeah. And open up a whole new world, a realm of what we're possible of doing. So yeah. create environments that, um, that are challenging, way, way more difficult than we could ever find at home. Physically, mentally, a little bit of both? Oh yeah, physically, mentally, and, and emotionally, right? So emotionally, to yeah. get us emotionally engaged at such a high level and then force us to act critically in those environments. That's mastery right there. And you know, many of us will cower to the, not, and I don't mean that in like a derogatory way, but we'll, we'll, we'll fail at operating critically in an emotionally engaged environment, whether it be fear or anger or any other emotion. We'll That's let the point. emotion control our thinking and our actions instead of us being step aside and separate from yeah. that, you know? Well, you can't see the picture when you're in the frame and yeah. you need that outside perspective and it's a muscle that you have to exercise over time in order to, 
make the best decisions when that kind of stuff happens. If you just react emotionally all the time, chances are the emotional decision is not the logical decision, you know? Correct. And so as a business person, being able to step outside that and look at it from, a, from this, this higher perspective and looking down at the situation, usually you make the best decisions and the most efficient and the most effective decisions and the best long-term decisions versus getting all worked up of what's happening in the moment and, and really, you know, having that, that self-awareness and the situational awareness. Yeah, 100%. You know, and I know, I know everybody knows this, but there's an inverse relationship between emotions and intelligence. As our emotions go up, our intelligence goes down. Yeah. Like how many times, like, I'll say how many times, have you ever said something to your wife when you're angry and as the words are leaving your mouth, you're like, stop, yeah, yeah, yeah. just shut those, up. Yeah, and you those. want it back, right? right yeah. yeah, and it's because we don't, we don't think. We let our emotions do our thinking for us, right? But the truth is, in everyday life, we are in heated emotional environments. And the idea is, what if we could train in those environments and train ourselves to, to excel, to actually be able to control the emotion and act in a critical way. Yeah, man. Instead of letting the, so instead of letting the emotions make the decision, let the emotions be the fuel yep. for the critical decisions that, that, that you want to make. Yep. And that's, one, that's kind of a part of what we want to bring to this. I love it. Know? I love it. So right now, we have the mainland property that can, it's got five bedrooms, it's got like 16 beds in it. Uh, we have the island house that's four beds, four and a half bathrooms. It's got something like, I think, nine beds in it. So, I mean, we can we can legitimately put 25 heads in beds yeah. uh, between the two properties. What kind of events do you, like, wh like what does the itinerary look like? Like that you, that you see, and I know this is a moving target, and I know we just started talking about this, but I'm excited. Like, I think we've had so many people who want to come to an event here on the island, and, uh, uh, the vision for obviously as we're going to continue to build it out, but we can start doing some stuff and we're planning on starting to do some stuff even just this spring. So what do you see from an itinerary standpoint of like, you've got military background training, you got a lot of buddies who were Marines and, and special forces and um, who are doing things along those lines. And obviously we want to physically uh, challenge people. We want to mentally challenge people. We want to emotionally challenge people and have some fun while we're doing it too, sure. you know? So like how, how do you see, you know, a two, two and a half day kind of uh, uh, event shaking yeah. out. So yeah, and it, re really great question. Cause, you know, one of my partners is a, a Navy SEAL vet. Mm -hmm. And so we bring a lot of his ideologies in, into the training that we do. And one, you know, everybody thinks like in the whole Navy SEAL world that they look for the unbreakables. And that's not what they look for. They look for the men who can be broken and how they respond once they've been mm. broken. I like that. That's what they look for because everybody can be broken. Right in that, yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's like you don't have to be fearless. You have to operate in spite of fear. Yes, like that's that's the the, the the champion mindset. You know, hundred percent, hundred percent, right? And it's funny. There's you know there's the the guru mantra is fearless, right? Yeah. And I'll tell you, there are only two environments where fearless exists. One is when you exist in the total, totally in the known, meaning you're not doing anything new or different, and you know the outcome because all fear is rooted in not knowing, right? right? So there's that, which means you're sitting in your comfort zone. Yep. And which two, means you're not growing. Is the exact opposite extreme when you have come to peace with every possible outcome. Effectively, you're burning the boats, and your your cause is greater than any risk of the outcome. You, I don't. I like I'm that. willing to risk it, and you've come to peace with it, so you're not afraid of it. Mm -hmm. Now we don't operate in that in that environment in a normal everyday life, nor nor should we. So really the fearless mantra doesn't apply that much to us, right? Um, we, we, to your point, courage, operating in the, in the face of fear. Yeah. So w w with that said, one thing we found, and, and this you know, a lot of comes out of the Navy SEAL training, is that the greatest opportunities for growth are when you're physically beaten down, meaning you've got nothing left in the tank. You're pushed to your yeah. limits, because that's when we gain, gain the greatest point of clarity in our mind and the learning opportunities are, are, are presented to us. Now let's dig in and let's go through some learning lessons here. So there'll be physical challenges and they're not, so you don't have to be a super athlete or a triathlon. Ask, yeah. No, no, no. They're all, it'll, every it'll be challenge challenging to, to your, meet you where you're, where at. you're at. Yeah, yeah, you could be 40 years old and you haven't done anything physically for the past 20 years yep. and you have a hard time getting upstairs without getting winded. I get it, yep. right? Um, it'll meet you where you're at. So that, that'll be one part of it. Another part of it, uh, is what I, what I what I call teamness. Now, if you're in entrepreneurial world, um, you're a business owner, you're you're you you run a family, right? 
Um, teamness matters. Teamness is how well you work with everybody else on a team, and the greatest measurement of that is how well you elevate those around you. So now we step into the world of leadership too. So now we have training exercises where there's a goal for the team um, with limitations in certain circumstances, but no execution rules as to how to get it done. Yeah. And you're posed against other teams around you, right? Yeah. So there's an element of challenge that's yeah. going on here too. So it forces everybody to figure, we're either gonna figure this out and work as a team, yep. or we're gonna fail all, all as one. So um, di different opportunities like that. I love it, man. Yeah, ones that we it. can't find in everyday life that we live in. I love it. Yeah. There's not, I mean, there's nothing like that out there in this environment, right? right. There's nothing like that. There's not enough of that, first of all, and I, I don't really know of any that I would plug into immediately uh, or, or that I would refer people to, but like that doesn't, and especially in this kind of environment where, you're, hey, you're surrounded by water, right? Like it, it's a safe space in that, you know, people can't get lost, right, on the island or anything like that. But at the same time, it's an unknown environment and there's just physical, mental, and, and emotional challenges that are gonna come with it. I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm excited to put people in that, in that situation so that way they can really know themselves and figure out how do they respond in a situation like that. Yeah, you know, a final part that'll be a big part of this, and I think it's, it resonates with everybody, is the idea of chaos and how not just to survive chaos, but thrive in chaos. And chaos being just a constant changing environment that's completely unpredictable. Yeah. I mean, since early 2020, the onset of COVID, we've lived in that space. And now it's changing faster and faster and faster every single day. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the, the individual who says, I'm just gonna keep doing what I've done, right? It's gonna be the mouse in that little story, who moved my cheese, yep. that never makes it out of the maze. Yep. We're providing you instructions to get out of the maze. You, you gotta to be able thrive to. thrive in chaos, right? You gotta be able yeah. to, now more than ever. Like, things change so rapidly. It's whoever has the ability to maneuver, to evolve, if you don't evolve, you're gonna become extinct. Yeah, so fast today, yeah. If you guys are interested in plugging into something, an event that's like that, that has, we're doing a retreat, I don't know what the, I don't know what the price is gonna be, I don't know what, what it's gonna look like, but if you're interested in just kinda like, hey, keep me posted, put me on the list, shoot me an email whenever you guys are gonna host one of these things. Again, they're gonna be very small, very close-knit, and we pat myself, maybe his uh, um, military friend, and, uh, just super high level, we'll talk business, we'll, put, we'll talk finance, we'll do these physical challenges. Uh, Pat is a Jedi ninja mindset um, coach and uh, just an absolute master in that side of things. And we will you know, include all that different kind of stuff on how do we all operate at the highest level and have that peak performance that we're all looking for. So if you're interested in that, I guess shoot me a message or uh, hit me up on Instagram or, or Facebook, shoot me a DM in there, and make sure you're connected with Pat too because he's always putting out so much value on social media. Make sure you're connected with us and we'll keep you guys posted on, on um, whenever we start hosting these things. Probably spring of, of 2023. Yeah. Awesome. All right, buddy. All right, brother. Looking forward Good to stuff. it, man.